Hello, I Qantas. Presenting before you the next question in Ibrahma series of questions. These questions are focused on concept building and out of the box thinking. The question before you, which was posted a few days back, uh, this has got a historical uh, importance. This question is known as Langley's Adventitious Angles, and it was uh, first time posted in the year 1922. So, as you can see, there is a triangle. A, B, C and uh, some angles are given and you have to find the value of X. Okay, one thing we are very sure of that this complete angle and this complete angle is 80 degrees each and since the angles are equal, that means this line AC and BC would be equal or we can say triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Now let's solve the question. So I have just uh, tried to align it horizontally just for sake of construction and all the solving. So let's look at this. Now what we can do over here. Okay, there's a very important uh, thing and, uh, about this uh, question that this question is considered to be the hardest easy geometry problem. The thing is because we won't be requiring some big short theorems of geometry over here, just the basic constructions would be required and we can solve this question. The basic theorem like all of us know that the sum of the all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Just by, the, just by keeping this thing in mind, we can solve this question. So first of all, we'll draw AF in such a way that angle BAF is 20 degrees. So look at this. This is F and as mentioned over here, angle BAF would be 20 degrees. Similarly, <clears throat> we can say angle BFA, angle BFA, this thing will be 80 degrees. The reason is very simple because uh, the sum of the angles of a triangle has to be 180. This thing is 80, this hole is 80, this one is 20, this has to be 80. Right. So it's mentioned over here. Triangle ABF will be isosceles. Of course, because now these two angles will be equal, that means AB and AF will be equal as mentioned in statement one. So I have considered this to be first statement, 80 degrees. Now based on that, I have just marked a few angles. This thing is 20, this will be 40 of course, because this hole was 60. And if this is 80, this will be 100. So far, so good. Now angle AEF, a, E, F will be 40 degrees. Of course, because this one is 100, this is 40. So this has to be 40 degree, which means the sides AF and FE will be equal. Let this be statement two. Now, angle B, D, A, angle B, D, A will be 50 degrees. Angle B, D, A will be 50 degrees. Look at this B D A. Why? Why so? Because this one is 50 as mentioned. This hole is 80. 80 plus 50 is 130. 80 plus 50 is 130. Remaining 50 will be this angle B D A. All right. Now we again, now we can say that A B and A D will be equal, which means the triangle A B D will again be isosceles. So now we have three isosceles triangles in total. Combining statement 1, 2 and 3, this is statement 2, AF is equal to FE, statement 3 is AB is equal to AD and statement 1 was in the previous slide, I'll just show it to you. This is statement 1, AB is equal to AF. So if I combine all these statements, what do I get? I'll get this, AB is equal to AF is equal to FE is equal to AD. So as you can see that <clears throat> we are not using some big short theorem, but at the same time, we are doing a lot of constructions and a lot of things have to be kept in mind. Now, so these all things we have. All right, what next? Join F and D now. So basically, uh, in the first, in the first stage, in the first step, I joined, I drew this AF. Now I'll join F and D. So basically I'm making one more triangle. Let us do that. Perfect. Then as AF is equal to AD, 
ए एफ एंड ए डी आर इक्वल फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस स्लाइड एज अट कंबाइनिंग ऑल थ्री स्टेटमेंट वी कैन से दैट सो ए एफ एंड ए डी इज इक्वल एंड एंगल एफ ए डी दिस एफ ए डी इज फोर्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी और आई कैन से सिक्सटी नाउ ए एफ एंड ए डी आर इक्वल दिस इज सिक्सटी दैट मीन्स दिस होल एंगल एंड दिस होल एंगल शुड ऑल्सो भी इक्वल राइट सो दिस वन इज सिक्सटी एंड दीज टू आर इक्वल दैट मीन्स दैट मीन्स that the these two will also be of 60 degrees each why this thing is 60 and some of these two would be 120 and as both are equal so 120 can be divided into two parts as 60 degrees each now since afd is an equilateral triangle af will be equal to fd af and fd will be equal it's common sense as af is equal to ae now this af and this ae these two Are equal again from the previous statements. So I can say FD is equal to FE. All right, as AF is equal to AE. I'm so sorry. This will be FE. As AF is equal to FE because just look at here. Uh, look. Uh, This is forty, and this is also forty. So these two angles are forty each. That means these two sides will also be equal. So AF is equal to FE, which means I can say that FD is equal to FE. Why? Because I am repeating. AF and FE are equal, and AF and FD are also equal. That means FD and FE will also be equal. All right. So angle FDE, this angle FDE. Will be equal to angle F E D because these two sides are equal. Now, as you see that this is this thing is forty as mentioned here, and these two are equal. That means now this is forty, so these two some of these two should be one eight one eighty minus forty. That is one forty, which also means that these two angles, if the sum is one forty individually, they will be. 70 degrees each as mentioned over here so now we have this thing is 70 that means 40 plus x will be 70 or i can say x is equal to 30 degrees i hope this solution is clear thanks